Welcome back guys, Lone Star Patriot here. Thanks for joining me. So today I wanna to start a short series of videos covering the options available for EDC flashlights. So I wanna run through several popular options that you see out there for EDC, and I wanna discuss some of the pros and cons, at least in my opinion, of these particular lights. So the first light up we're gonna look at today is made by Surefire. It's the Surefire G2 XLE light. So let's check it out. Okay, so to take a closer look at this particular light, what I first wanna do is run through some of the overall specifications on this light, and then we'll also discuss some of the pros and cons, at least in my opinion. So what you see in front of you is a Surefire G2X LE light. It is in the black color. So the specific model number according to Surefire for this light is a G2X LE-BK. Now the overall length of this light measures 5.2 inches, and that's measured from the bezel to the tail cap. Now the bezel diameter measures one and a quarter inches. Now in terms of the weight of this light, so Surefire advertises the weight of this light, including the batteries, at 4.4 ounces. However, it comes in a little bit heavier on my scale at approximately 4.75 ounces. Now it does include two CR123A batteries that we'll look at here in a few minutes. And then in terms of the construction of this light, the outside of this has a nitrolon polymer body and then it also has a mil-spec hard anodized bezel. So in terms of the output, so it is a dual output LED light, so it has two settings. It has a high setting and it's got a low setting. So it's a very simple light. On the high setting, it puts out 400 lumens for an approximate run time of two and a quarter hours. Now on the low setting, it puts out 15 lumens at approximately 45 hours. Now, I found that the run times that are advertised by flashlight manufacturers are certainly generous, so you want to be sure to swap out batteries as soon as you see any degradation in terms of the output. Now, in terms of the use, so again, it is a dual output LED, so the system is actually very simple. So the first press of this tail cap puts out the high 400 lumen setting. So you can press for a momentary on high, and then if you do the second press, that'll get you your low setting. So to demonstrate that here, you can do the first setting, which is the first press of the tail cap to get your high 400 lumen setting. And then while you're depressing the tail cap, you can also click it on. So if you listen, so I've now set this at constant on for the 400 lumens. Now if I turn this off, your second click, so if I go one, two, and then if I hold that to do a constant on, so you heard the click there, that's the low setting or the 15 lumens. Okay, so as indicated earlier, it does come with two CR123A batteries. Now these are the Surefire branded batteries. However, any quality CR123A batteries will certainly work. Now this particular light is weatherproof as well, which is a big bonus in my opinion. So it does have the O-ring here and it is gasket sealed, of course, to prevent any water from infiltrating and compromising this light. Okay, so as a comparison, what I wanna do is look at another very popular light in the Streamlight ProTac HL. This is the 750 lumen light and compare it against the Surefire G2 XLE. Now, from first glance on paper, you would certainly think that the Streamlight at 750 lumens would be significantly brighter than the Surefire G2 XLE given that it has only 400 lumens. So these two lights again are very popular lights. They have a very similar price point. The overall length is comparable. Now the bezel diameter on the Streamlight is certainly larger, which makes it a disadvantage in my opinion. However, overall these lights are again very popular and somewhat comparable. So if you notice from the video I'm gonna roll in that the actual output in terms of the hotspot at the center of the light, as well as the throw of the light, these are actually very comparable and almost identical. So the Streamlight will definitely have a slight advantage given that it does have almost double the output in terms of lumens. However, it's important to see that just because the advertised lumens is higher doesn't necessarily mean that there's gonna be a significant difference in terms of the performance of the light. Okay, so moving on to some of the disadvantages as well as the advantages that I see on this particular light. Now I want to preface this by saying that these are based on this light being used as an EDC light. So if we start off with the disadvantages first, the first disadvantage that I see is that the tail cap, as you can see here, protrudes beyond the body. So there's a possibility of getting negligent discharges of this light if you're not careful when you go to access this light. 
Now, the second disadvantage that I see is going to be in the bezel diameter. So as we talked about earlier, the bezel diameter measures one and a quarter inches. And in my opinion, given that it doesn't have a belt clip or pocket clip, which is really the next disadvantage, you have this light being lost potentially in a pocket to where it makes it very cumbersome to carry. Now, along the same lines is that when you don't have a belt clip or pocket clip, you don't have consistency in accessing this light. So similar to say withdrawing your firearm from holster, you always want to have consistency in a draw stroke with your gun. So I look for the same setup in terms of a light. So given that it doesn't have a dedicated pocket clip, I find that it's not a consistent location to pull from in case I need the light. Now, the final disadvantage, and really this might be minor to some, but it's something to point out, is that the bezel itself doesn't have a very aggressive texture on the bezel to where, say comparable to say other lights where it's got a very aggressive crenulated bezel. This might not be as beneficial, say in a self-defense scenario, as some of the lights on the market. So moving on to the advantages. So there's several advantages that I see, the first one being having the Surefire name behind this light. So Surefire is certainly a leader in lights. They have a proven track record and you can expect the reliability on this particular light just like you would other Surefire products. Now the other advantage that I see is gonna be in the price. Now while this is not an inexpensive light, this particular light retails for right around $80. However, a lot of times you could find these on sale for anywhere between $60 and $70, which I think is a good value for the quality of the light that you get. Now, another advantage that I see is that this particular light can also be used as a weapon light. Now, while Surefire does not advertise this as a weapon light, this can certainly be mounted on, say, a rifle and used as a weapon light. So, the diameter of the body is one inch, and so this will accommodate most of your traditional one inch light mount options that you can find for say rifles. So for example, the Bravo company BCM gunfighter ring light mount is certainly a viable option that you can mount this particular light into that mount. All right guys, so right up today's video covering the Surefire G2 XLE light. Now, first off is I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but the LE stands for law enforcement model. Now, there are several different options, both in terms of output, as well as color choices available in the Surefire G2 X series line. So definitely check out the other options available if this specific model might not suit your needs the best. Now, another thing I wanna mention, and that's also something I touched on earlier in the video, is that this can also double as a weapon light, say on a rifle. So considering that it retails right about $80, again, can be picked up typically on sale for about 60 to 70. This I think is a very excellent choice for both an EDC light that can also double as a weapon light for say a home defense rifle. So if you look at it from that perspective, it's a very inexpensive option to suit both needs. So it's kind of dual purpose in that aspect. But hopefully you found the video helpful. Again, stay tuned for other videos in this series covering EDC lights. But thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and keep up the good fight. show you a side side again for EDC is it the bezel diameter hey. can potentially have negligible on this particular light now what I want to preface this by it so check out the other offerings from sure